Hey friend, welcome to God's Garden Bench. Here we're entering through the garden gate into what I call my arbor garden. It's currently under construction, so we've taken all the beds out and we're replacing them. The chickens have been free roaming in the garden space and in the backyard, and so I'm putting up this fence to separate them from the garden because I discovered that they can very easily jump up on that tall garden bed and actually scritch and scratch in the garden bed, and they're just uprooting the plants that are in there um, while they're trying to get the bugs. So here I am, you know, with all of them watching me putting up this fence to separate the garden from their area. Now this chicken hatched out, we call her mama hen, she hatched out eight little chicks and it really struck me with these little chickens when they started hatching. First of all, it was just amazing just to see the cycle of life happening in creation but to see how these little baby chickens just popped out of the egg and just knew how to chicken like they popped out stayed under mom for a little while and then just started getting out pecking around searching for their food the mama chicken makes certain types of noises indicating that there's food present etc but it was just amazing to me how god's creation is so perfectly designed and how they just pop out and know how to be chickens. I, it was, it's just been such an amazing experience to see this process happen with this mama chicken and then how loving she is to these little chickens. And it has just been such a testament to God and his creation watching that happen, as is the whole garden for me. So here I'm just continuing to try to get the fence up and you see me here I am working on getting this gate situation somehow figured out as Mighty is waiting patiently wondering why he's been left out of the garden. Now this dragonfly came and hung out with me for a little while while I was putting the fence up. It's on one of the T posts and I think dragonflies are absolutely fascinating. They are so beautiful and agile and they just Oh, they're just an amazing, amazing thing to experience. Now, taking you around the garden and showing you different things that just fill me with gratitude. This, the garden this year has been a bit disappointing for me. I, it's not the way that I thought that it was going to look. It's not the way that I thought that it was going to feel. And one of my friends and my spiritual mentor told me, she said, you light up when you talk about your garden. She said, I urge you to go back into your garden and, and just be there and kind of get back into it. And she was so right. And as I was taking these clips, I just saw these little things that I hadn't noticed as I was walking through it, like the grasshopper and the spider and this giant pile of needle ants. I've been trying to, to evacuate out of my garden, um, that they just keep moving around this one bed, but just seeing all of the beautiful things that are in this garden space, even though it's not my version of perfect and how I envisioned it when I planned it back in February and March, it's still absolutely striking. I mean, the colors of those flowers and how many different shades of pink are within this one plant. All of these pink flowers are on one single plant. This is not multiple plants. And it's just amazing to see that and then to see it as just a small part of God's massive creation and how he designed this hummingbird moth, which is incredible, that looks like a hummingbird and like behaves like a hummingbird, but is actually a moth. Um, and so when she told me that, it really hit me. It really resonated with me because she's so right. The garden is such a special place for me, and that's oftentimes where God meets me in such beautiful and amazing ways, and he uses that creation of his creation, and I'm his creation, and he really kind of speaks to me through that and makes things make sense. Um, and so I just came out to the garden and just started taking these clips and knew that I was going to string them together and make something beautiful <laughs> for myself and also hopefully for you. And I really hope that you can enjoy that and come into this space that God has so blessed us with and blessed me with and be able to, to hear my heart and to see these beautiful things and these adorable chickens. I mean, who cannot be happy when they're looking at a baby chick, but not only a baby chick, but baby chickens with their mama chicken, something about that just makes my mama heart so happy and full. 
Um, and just to see the love that they all share for each other and even the bugs that they're picking up has just been such a special process to watch. And so for the next little while, at least I'm going to be just doing this and, and documenting this journey. I was talking to another one of my friends and realizing that I want these videos just for me too. And I'm going to do them for me. I'm going to do them in my creative way and whatever kind of just brings that happiness and that joy and that connection to God. That's what I, the, the video that I'm going to create. I'm going to not attempt to please the algorithm and please the viewer. I'm going to do it because it brings me joy and it touches my soul. And I, I know that someone out there, even once again, if it's just one of you enjoys these beautiful videos and walking through my garden and seeing this beautiful butterfly who was really shy and I tried to keep getting it. I kept chasing it around and finally it kept saying, no, thank you. Like go away. And finally I left it alone, but <clears throat> you can see it from a, a distance. But at the same time, you get to look at the beautiful sunflowers and the zinnias, the beautiful colors. And as I was looking at these zinnias, I found that little guy, which was really cool. <laughs> but then I looked down and I was like, wait a minute. That's where the chickens have been hiding their eggs. I didn't think that I was getting enough in the coop. There they were, right in the middle of one of the garden beds, as you can see, covered in grass and might be a mess, but it's still growing beautiful flowers. And then this is the loofah plant that I planted over the entrance of the garden. And it's just so beautiful and striking. And that is it. We're now leaving the garden and I will see you next time. And I hope that you feel incredibly blessed.